Hi guys, it's Nick again. Just trying to get a few videos done while we're quiet. Um, I'm on my own in the shop today, um, so I can talk to myself out the back here and Andrea doesn't think I'm being a weirdo. Well, she does think I'm being a weirdo. She's been married to me for God knows how long, so she knows that fact by now. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to get a few videos done um, and catch up on things. Um, had a nice little surprise waiting for me on the doorstep. On the doorstep? No, on the doormat the other day. Um, a while back I said that I, I cleared a load of old media stock and sent a stack of it up to Music Magpie. Um, it took ages for these to come through. Um, I did, they do have an option that um, when you send up your stuff they can deposit the money straight into your bank account and I'm sure a lot of you do it that way. I did switch to that but then they messed up some of my payments and I, I really don't trust their system regarding paying direct into your bank so I switched back to getting checks and just received four they took weeks and weeks it must have been a good month or so back I sent the stuff up so it's not very fast but it's a great way of clearing your crap basically uh, well it was in another video but in case you haven't seen it uh, last year I had tons and tons of media stock I, I cleared all of that on eBay and Amazon what I had left. If you buy much media you end up with with junk, stuff that either you bought a job lot and it's the stuff that's absolute rubbish that you can't, isn't worth anything, stuff that's slightly damaged or you know stuff that for whatever reason you end up with and I ended up with two or three crates of this stuff after the last 12 months or so of reselling. Um, we took it all to a car boot sale and sold off probably about a third of it that way um, at 50p each and then I went through everything scanning it into Music Magpie and sent everything up to them that was worth doing which is what I'm about to show you in a minute the checks I got and then I had a crate left which I initially stuck on a Facebook reselling well you know buying and selling page and didn't get any interest from that and then stuck it on eBay and sold the last crate for 20 quid. A guy came, like, picked up local collection in the shop on Saturday. And the last crate was the absolute dregs. Stuff that wasn't even worth sending to Magpie or it had smashed cases or it was, you know, it just wasn't good. And I was totally open about that in the listing. I, I think this guy is, is a, a market trader or does boot sales or whatever. He, he just didn't even look at it, just picked up and went away. So, I have cleared absolutely everything now, and the stuff I sent to Magpie, um, I ended up with, I just added it up, £85. So considering this is my absolute junk, there was a few little bits that were listed on Amazon uh, that I went through and worked out that it was never going to sell on there, it was really obscure stuff, and Magpie were offering good money, so I sent a few bits like that up. But here's a good example, this was one box full. Uh, can you see that on there? 50, 56.85. So yeah, for clearing your crap, Music Magpie really works. They are, it used to be in the early days, they're low end, the, the sort of bottom end they give you for something they would take was 30 pence. It's nowhere near like that now. A lot of stuff they offer 20p on, a lot of stuff is 10p. They even go as low as 5p on things. So yeah, you, you might want to be selective with what you send up to them, but yeah. So that was a nice little bonus, £85. Right, sorry, I filled up my phone again. I keep filling up the memory on my phone with these videos. Um, so yeah, that was that. Um, now taking a leaf out of Tom's book when he's been doing his dickhead of the week section in his videos, which I find brilliant and really entertaining watching. I forgot when I did my haul video that there was a real annoying stall holder. Um, so let me just run through this. This is my version of Tom's dickhead of the week. This is my numpty of the boot sale. Um, I went up to a stall and they had lined up on their, on their sides loads of media all the way across the front of their table. So it's all DVDs and games and all sorts of media stuff all mixed in. And I, before I started looking, as often I do, there's no point in looking through a load of stuff first and then asking what the prices are, because they might be massively overpriced and you'll waste your time. So I said, how much is, is this stuff? Just did a gesture like this. How much is this stuff to all this media? And the lady looked up and she said, oh, everything's a pound on there. I went, 
fair enough. And I started going through and I pulled out some, nothing amazing, but some Xbox 360 games. I grabbed a few of those, um, a couple of DVD box sets, uh, a few DVDs that were worth doing and uh, a few other games. Um, I think there was some PS2 bits, a couple of PS1 bits, a nice selection of stuff that was all at a pound worth going on. I think I got it a little bit over 10 items and what I was going to try and do is get the lot for 10. Anyway, spent a good five or 10 minutes going through everything because I also, I'm very fussy about my disc, so I check every disc and look at it all, etc. There for ages. Went, Okay then, now, these items did have uh, random price stickers on at more than a pound, but I'd already asked her, so I assumed they were from an old boot sale or that's what she originally paid in a charity shop or something, I don't know. Anyway, said, here you go then, uh, I'm interested in that lot. And she said, okay, let me just have a look. And she went through and I could see her like adding it up. And I thought, okay, what are you doing, a pound each? It's not, it's not rocket science. And then she came out with, that's £28.50 then, please. And I said, well, I asked you just a minute ago, well, 10 minutes ago, how much all of this media stuff was. And you said it's all a pound each. So, yeah, well, they're not because they've got price stickers on. And I was just like livid. I'd just spent, this was like right at the beginning of the boot sale. I needed to be whizzing around and picking up stuff, not wasting 10 minutes at this bloody store. Pardon my French. So, anyway, I just, gave her a look of absolute desperation and just turned around and walked off. I was just like, really? You told me they were all a pound. So yeah, that was my numpty of the boot sale from last Saturday. It was just really frustrating. It was more the time that I'd wasted, you know, because time is of the essence at the boot sale, as you'll all be aware. You just need to be in front of as many stalls as soon as possible to find the stuff. And she, yeah, wasted 10 minutes of my life. So there you go. Anyway, just a quick one. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Please give it, a, give it a thumbs up. Like I say, I'm trying to catch up on videos uh, I've been meaning to do for a while, so there might be a few coming your way over the next few days. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.